I think, <clears throat> I don't think songwriting has declined, but I do think there is an initial <clears throat> reaction with every generation to think that. I think that like people who, you know, in the 50s said that about the Beatles when the Beatles came out, for sure, right? And I think we just, we're doomed to turn into our parents. Although my parents were actually quite cool. They did like a lot of like current things. But <clears throat> I think the reason why it seems like the quality of songwriting has gone down is because of the pure deluge of content out there. There's no quality control. So it's harder to find those songs. Um, there are brilliant songs out there. I have friends that are writing them. Um, the issue that some, talking to some people about this, I've literally had two discussions about this this, this week. Um, I have two friends who are literally like platinum selling Golden Globe nominated songwriters. And they found these artists on social media that have big followings that need songs because they're just doing bite-sized cover clips and they're racking up the follows, but they don't have a record. What they've been finding is that the work ethic is not there. They have trouble getting them to the studio and then they're scrolling and then they can't keep them in the studio for long, longer than a couple of hours. They can't get them back to the studio to finish the song because they're making TikTok videos. And some of them are making a lot of money doing that more than they probably would from any streaming royalties. So then you're, the craft is not being practiced or a different craft is being practiced. The, the jingle mentality, the bite size clickbait engaging that is getting really good and that is making the money so then where is the incentive for them to spend crafting really good songs if there's no guarantee it's going to generate money or clicks or whatever like you basically are doing it for art's sake um that's what turned around a few things for me when I felt like I was in a lull several years ago where I was just doing, you know, music that I hated because I needed the money. You know, I was grateful it's music, you know. Um, <clears throat> you have to counter it with things that you think are beautiful. So me putting out EPs is me take, it's almost like a luxury break for me because I do so much music for spec you know, for other people's needs, that me doing something that I think is beautiful is like a luxury sidestep to swim around in a, in a bit. And also to say, hey, I can do this. You know me for party trap today or whatever it is, but I'm actually doing this folksy Americana stuff and it, it's like an audio business card. But if I stop to think at any moment about numbers, sales, clicks, views, I could easily talk myself out of doing that. Um, so the priorities are different. And I do feel bad for people that haven't lived in the world before social media, where they don't know what that was like and the freedom that we had because we weren't sort of bound by all of this extra competition and keeping up with standards, you know, it's, it's just a different world. So that was a very long answer to your question, but I don't think the standard of songwriting has declined. I just think you have to go through so much more fraff before you can get to the good stuff, if you ever do, but it is out there. One thing I have noticed with Gen Z though, is that especially people who are really into the singing aspect of things like the singers I call them like riffalicious trickalicious singers I've noticed that the hooks now are more like riffs it's more like vocal riffs to say hey look what I can sing <clears throat> this is my hook as opposed to this is just a great hook like it's not those simple sing along the pub hooks now it's like hooks that you can only sing if you're a really dexterous, dexterous singer. So that's the trend that seems to be going on from, from these things. So it can be fun, but then could you listen to a whole album like that and your, the reach of people that you're communicating with gets really narrow. 
Um, so I'm of the thing that, you know, it's easy amongst creative people to say, <clears throat> oh, we, we wrote this, oh, you'll love that chord progression. Oh, did you hear what I did there? Oh, do you like the riff? Like, can you sing that? The chorus is so tricky. There's most of the world are not that way, but all of the world does have emotions that they can't always express. So our job as creators, as musicians, songwriters, singers, is to express for them what they can't viscerally express and give them that. That's why you can cry when you hear a song, you can get worked up, you can be angry, it's therapy, it's all of those things. So I just think we should be thinking about that as opposed to, look at my you know, 30 second video, like how awesome am I? So, but what are you giving? What are you communicating really, you know? So yeah. again, the, 